So we're here with uh, CDR Yamaha's Billy McKenzie, and I, uh, I really had to concentrate saying that. I've been saying Monster Energy Kawasaki for the last three years, Billy, but uh, tell us a little bit about, it was a sort of worst-kept secret for a while that uh, Dakar had signed you up, but uh, finally I think you guys admitted to it uh, just before you went over racing in New Zealand. Just tell us a little bit about how the deal came together. Uh, well, I was uh, had an injury year last year, and I was off the radar a little bit. I didn't come to many of the races just because they were too far to travel to, you know, just, just for the sake of turning up. So I didn't want to eat into... Kawasaki's budget just be there for the sake of it so I was kind of off the radar I was a little bit annoyed with myself I'd put a lot of effort in and um, to have an injury you know I really you know I've been trying to win a championship since I came here and I thought last year would have been one of the best opportunities that I could have gave myself I put all the work in I was, I was feeling settled and it just didn't work so I was, I was a bit I was a bit pissed off and um, just you know kind of went into hiding for a bit I had to heal up it took two months you know for the injury it was a bit it was a serious injury and I had to take my time with it so um, I just kind of wiped the slate clean, I was like, you know what, just write it off, there's no point in getting angry about it. Um, but obviously, when you have an injury, it does take a while, so I was a bit down in the dumps and stuff, and when I came back, um, you know, it, it, we didn't really have things going in the right direction, and there was, there was a lot of things that just weren't right. And um, towards the end of the motocross season, I tried my best to come back, but obviously with an injury and not having set the bike up, um, we were just in a bit of trouble. So. It, it was left down to Supercross, and um, I, don't know, I guess people can sort of uh, make decisions on what my Supercross skills are being a European, but I feel like I can ride Supercross all right, but I just knew, again, I wasn't in the best position. We hadn't had a lot of time to set up. Um, things were just, yeah, they just, they just weren't working over there, so I was kind of left on my own, and it, it, it was looking like things, you know, were going to be looking uh, bleak for me, but... Um, I had a word with uh, Steve Dixon, who I rode for for nine years over in the UK. He runs the the, the Yamaha uh, Dixon team over there that the, um, Ferris is going to be riding for. So I got a long history with Yamaha, um, a good relationship with Yamaha, and it was it was nice to be able to talk, to, in a position to talk with Steve, and uh, I think it was at the Nations. Uh, Steve and Dak are also very close, and Steve put in a good word for me, and Dak took, took notice of it. And then I had a little phone call with, with Craig and uh, talked about it. We had a good, honest uh, Little chat and um, told him everything that I want to do and you know how, you know I've, I've got I've got credentials you know like uh, just give me another chance and being part of CDR Yamaha is uh, what I wanted to do when I first came over. I remember talking to him the very first time I talked to him and Troy and you know uh, he was he was full with uh, Jay and uh, Shane at the time so yeah, I had to do I had to do the work I had you know had to stay with Kawasaki and it, it was it was a good time you know we we got some good results we won races and stuff but. Um, it's truly a dream to come true to come and, and ride for Craig and already the vibe that I get from the team just, it's such a professional atmosphere and the vibes yeah like I'm just feeding off at the moment so uh, I'm looking forward to hopefully you know straightening out the last year's results and um, you know just yeah showing people what I, I can really do. Well I guess it's fair to say you were, you were really in the hunt for the championship that first couple of years you here last year you know injury pretty you know inconsistent in a lot of ways I mean you know people look back at the season just go well Billy kind of wasn't there and and I know when uh, you know Dakar threw a job at you people just, really Billy I mean hasn't come off the boil a little bit did you sort of find that you I mean it's easy to fall out of favor with people if you're injured and sort of not uh, front of mind for a bit that's where I'm very fa thankful for, for Craig because uh, he looks past an injury season and sees that you know I have got the credentials out like I've won GPs I've won British championships I've been I've been, you know, at the at the top of the world on some occasions, you know, and I, I think he understands that. He's been and raced, you know, the GPs. He knows uh, he, he's got experience and he knows what it's like to race at the top level. So, um, I think when I first came over and being on a new team, you know, helping Troy start up the the Kawasaki thing that first year, you know, we almost we almost we almost got that championship. And I broke my wrist that year also. You know, I missed three races at, at the the second round. I had to come back uh, for Broadford, and yeah, the, which ended up being Toowoomba, but. You know, I, I clawed points back that year, and I fought, you know, right to the end, and it was just unlucky. You know, I, I didn't win that championship, and then, you know, uh, after that, we we kind of had a few ups and downs. Like the team was like getting, you know, we were building together with with Kawasaki, but we, you know, there was pressure from everywhere, and it just seems like Dax had a solid outfit for forever. Do you know what I mean? He knows what works, he knows how to run it, and um, he's proved that by winning championships for the last five years. So. I'm just hoping, like he, I'm hoping I can just, you know, knuckle down, um, show everyone what I can really do, and the the feeling that I've got so far has been is, is unbelievable. The bike's fantastic. Like everything I've asked for, it has been answered. You know, every question I had about the bike, they have an answer for. It's not like we're we're sort of searching in any direction. It's 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 a proven bike. They've got three years development with it, and um, yeah, I'm just I'm really excited to be riding it. Just tell us quickly about New Zealand. Um, 
you know, you, you look fighting fit this year, and I think uh, you better half in there. Harriet said that uh, you're you're definitely fitter than ever with a bit of a glint in her eye, even Billy, if I can say that. I'm not sure what she was alluding to, but um, you know, fitter than ever. You already, uh, you know, a couple of races under the belt over in New Zealand, and uh, you know, what's your expectation for this year? Uh, again, I just want to keep a level head because last year having an injury season uh, it kind of brought me back down to earth a little bit. You know, I. I, I I have always believed in myself. I've always had a, a sense of confidence about me, um, but obviously, you know, being left sort of injured and, and without a deal this year, it was the first time I've ever been without a deal. You know, I've, I've always been the one to sort of move on to the next team. You know, and that was a little bit of a shock for me. I was like, oh, you know, I need to I need to knuckle down. But um, I just I, I want to write last year off. Like there was a lot of things went wrong, but um, I still trained. I'd done all my preparation before the start of the season and the same as I've done now it's just I've just got a better feeling this year you know like I, I'm doing exactly the same thing although the New Zealand championship like you mentioned is a, a massive help uh, in my eyes because I started obviously thinking back of like why is this why is it went wrong why am I not riding that well and it's because basically I haven't had enough race time I have not been to many races like competitively like rocking up ready to win like back in Europe we used to race every single weekend and there's nothing better than than doing race time so the New Zealand championship especially with Josh starting his new team it was it was something I just jumped at you know it wasn't like oh can you come do this I was like no I want to do this I want to be there I want to like train with Josh I respect him highly I've raced against him before and I know that he's got you know the, the minerals to be a world champion he, you know he should have done it like he did do it in my eyes like he was a world champion in 2007 I was there racing that 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 series so to, to go and train with him and just you know learn a little bit off him uh, it's good to have someone who's just jumped off the bike, any questions that I had about the bike, he answered them straight away. It wasn't like we were searching. It's just been such an easy process so far. And it it's it feels like it can get better. You know what I mean? Like I feel like, you know, I won I won the last round at the last race at the, the round two of the New Zealand championship. And um yeah, I felt like I was riding real well. Like it was the first time, you know, that I decided during the race to step past my comfort zone and push on for the win because I've done my training, the bike's working well, like there's just positive energy all towards that one goal and it was down to me to to win that race and it was when I decided to do it and after I'd won it I was like, well, you know, it wasn't easy but you know, it's 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 another stepping stone and I can just build off that and I, I want to build off that and it's just been the best preparation for the Australian Championship in my eyes. Just looking ahead a little bit, obviously you focused on the season ahead. We're, what, about a month away from the thing starting now, a little bit more. Um, you had your press day just the other day, but, um, you know, you, you're 28 now. What's your sort of, uh, what's your time horizon, you know? Are you the kind of guy that's, a, I'm going to be racing into my mid-30s, or you really just looking about the next couple of years at this stage? To be honest, I, yeah, I guess I have started thinking about it a little bit, but um, in the way I see it is, you know, it keeps me fit, keeps me healthy. Um, I'm a competitive person. As long as I'm able to race uh, competitively, I want to keep doing it. So I, if I was to put a timeline on I'd say another four years. I want to definitely get into my mid-30s because otherwise I might just, you know, end up sitting down the pub drinking or eating pies. You know, I, mean, I don't I, like, I like feeling fit and healthy and I feel um, I'm at like an optimum sort of place in my career. I've learned the right foods to eat. I'm, I'm living in a beautiful place. I, I've moved to Australia. Like I've got everything in order to do the job properly for once. Um, I'm not running around like you know chasing chasing a race here and not having enough sleep and travel. Like everything's organised. I'm more mature. You know I've got a stable relationship. My, Harriet's been over here with with me for the last few years. We're, we're loving it. You know we're, we're enjoying Australia so much. And I'm just in a really happy place in my life. And to land the the CDR Yamaha deal with you know the guidance of Craig Dack. I just it, it doesn't seem like it can go wrong and so I'm just going to you know hope and 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 try my hardest to to make sure that I bring him a sixth championship because he deserves it. Well, let's hope so. 36 championships in the bag for Dakar, so absolutely no pressure, Billy. But uh, look, a bit of a bugger. We couldn't get out there on the, uh, this happen track today. I mean, I know Craig's hired it for the day, but uh, best of luck for the season ahead, mate. And really sounds like you're in a good place, and I'd uh, love to see you in the top of the box this year. Yep, thanks very much, guys.